So here we're going to solve some log equations. So I kind of gave a couple of, I mean, generic steps on how to solve them. Um, sometimes they might be a little bit different, especially when you have two logs on both sides. Um, and you might have to do a couple other things. So, uh, but for the, the main idea is that you want to be able to isolate the log term. So kind of very similar to how we had exponentials. But now you want to be able to lo uh, isolate that, that log on one side of the equation if it's possible. Um, if you have two logs on both sides, you can do other things, but, uh, and I'll show you what to do. Uh, then you have two different types of things that you can do. One of them is write it in exponential form, or the other one is exponentiate. Uh, I don't even know if I spelled it right, exponentiate. I think that's how you spell it. Okay, so uh, I'll show you what those are. Um, so it's kind of like uh, writing in an exponential form is basically what we've learned in a couple videos back exponentiating kind of like how we did with the with the um with the exponential equations where we applied a log to both sides now what we're going to do is we're going to uh exponentiate by uh taking a base of something to cancel out the log so and uh basically if you had a to the log of ax you can this is just equal to x so it's kind of like if i raise the log if, or the log is raised to some sort of base, then the logs can, can just cancel out and you just have the x. So that's basically what exponentiating means, and I'll show you what that is. Um, then you can solve and then check. So make sure that you really check because the log, the inside of the log, cannot be negative. Negative is bad news, okay? Can't be negative. So that guy can't be negative. So if you have, so when you plug it back in there, make sure that the log has, uh, uh, it's always positive, okay? Or not, and also not zero. So you don't wanna have a zero inside of the log. So zero can be a solution. A negative number can be a solution. But once you plug it back in there, you have to make sure that it satisfies a log, okay? So we'll do a couple of examples um, to just um, write them out. So solve. So the first one will be log base 3 of x equals 2. Okay, so here what we want to do, uh, we want to isolate the log. Notice that the log is by itself, so we're all good. Now you have two different things that you can do. So you can do it in exponential form or exponentiate. So I'm going to show you what exponential form is. So here, exponential form. This is basically what we've been doing so far. Uh, which is basically we have the log base 3 of x is equal to 2. And basically what you got to do is just change this to an exponential. So it's going to be 3 to the power of 2 equals x. And you can see that already this is already solved. So here x is equal to 9. So the answer is 9. So that means if I plug the 9 back in there, notice that it's not negative. It's still positive. So we're good. Uh, the other form that you can do is uh, by exponentiating both sides, exponentiate. Um, and basically what that entails is the following thing. So if you have a log base 3 of x equals 2, then what you can do is you can raise both sides to whatever the base is. So in this case, it's going to be 3. So I'm going to raise both sides by 3. So that guy's going to go away, and I'm left with an x. x is equal to 3 squared. That gives me 9. Okay. So whichever you'd like to do, um, do it. I feel like this one might be a little bit better just because I feel like a lot of you guys have have taken a log to both sides and now in this case we're gonna we're gonna do exponentiation. Um, so it's very, very um, similar. It's kind of like the same common theme as, as exponential equations. So um, that's what you can do if you want. All right, so let's do a couple more. So let's say we have a log base 2 of 25 minus x is equal to 3. Okay, so notice here that the log is by itself already. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and exponentiate. So here we see a base of 2, so we're going to take a 2 to both sides, which will go make that away. So the uh, argument is going to be left by itself. 2 to the power of 3 is just going to give me 8. All right, now we're going to solve for x, so I'm going to subtract by 25. So we're going to have negative x um, is going to be equal to uh, negative 17. And then finally divide by a negative. So x equals 17. Okay, so that's the answer. Let's just double check. Log base 2 of 25 minus 17. Clearly this is positive, so we are good.
Okay. All right. So let's do point C. Let's say we had a four plus three log of two x is equal to sixteen. <clears throat> Okay, so the notice that the log is not by itself, so we need to get it by itself. So we need to get this guy. So first let's get rid of that four. So I'm gonna subtract the four over. So that's gonna give me three log of two x is equal to 16 minus four, that's gonna give me 12. Then we're gonna divide both sides by three because that's multiplication on the left-hand side. So we have a log base two x, a uh, log uh, base 10 uh, of 2x is equal to 12 divided by 3 gives me 4. Now in this case, if there's no um, base, that means it's, it's set to be 10. So we're going to take both sides to the power of 10. So you have 2x is equal to 10 to the fourth power. Okay, so that's what this is going to be. And then finally, uh, what we're going to do is just divide by 2. Okay, which is going to give me 500. So let's just double check. Let's go back. Make If you see that if I plug in 500, it's going to check out. So that's going to be the answer. Okay, now let's do another one. Part D. Okay, so now we're going to have log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 3 is equal to 2. Okay, so now in this case, um, notice that you have two logs on one side. And basically what we want is we want one log. We don't want a lot of them. Uh, one log is good enough to deal with. So we don't want two. So here instead, we're, we're going to tap into the log properties. Notice how there's an addition. So we can use the, uh, the product rule to try to get these two uh, together. So notice addition, it goes into multiplication. So that's x, x minus 3 is equal to 2. All right, now we have a single log. So now let's get rid of it. So I'm going to place, I'm going to exponentiate both sides. So this is going to go away. So I'm left with x, x minus 3 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. Okay, now let's go ahead and distribute this guy. So we get x squared minus 3x is equal to 4. Notice that now we have a quadratic equation. So we can subtract the 4 over and you have x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. And we know how to solve this. We can either use quadratic formula or we can just factor. And this guy is actually factorable. So I'm going to have a 4 here and a 1 here. Um, then you're going to have a negative for the 4 and a positive for the 1. So this is going to be give me x equals 4. And this is going to give me x equals negative 1. All right? Are both of them solutions? Well, let's plug in the 4. If Let's check. If we plug in the 4 in here, this is good, okay? And I plug in the 4 here, 4 minus 3 gives me a 1, it's still good. So this one checks out. What about the negative 1? Well, the negative 1, if I plug in negative 1 in here, you're going to get negative vibes here. You cannot have a negative 1, so this guy is not going to check out, okay? And also here, if I put in negative 1, you're going to get a negative 4. That doesn't check out either. So uh, make sure that you check, because sometimes when we're solving a quadratic, we are actually just solving the quadratic. For the quadratic, this is the solutions, but remember the original was a log. So we want to make sure that with a log, we, we do this correctly. Okay. All right, let's do two more. So let's say, um, we now had, um, three, oh no, not three. LN of two X plus one. Uh, minus ln of 4x minus 2 is equal to, I don't know, uh, 3. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to take, um, let's actually change this to something else. Let's change this to a 0. Okay. So we see that this, this looks a lot like the previous one, okay? So we want to use the properties of logs. So see how there's subtraction? This is going to be division. So 2x minus 1 divided by 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. And now what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of that e. 
or get rid of the ln, I gave you the answer, by taking the base, which is going to be an e. So we're going to exponentiate both sides. So we're going to have 2x minus 1 over 4x minus 2 by itself. e to the 0 power is just give me 1. All right. Now we're going to multiply both sides to by the 4x minus 2. So we get 2x minus 1 equals 4x minus 2. Now we're going to solve for the x. So I'm going to move the 2x over. So we get negative 1 equals 2x minus 2. And then finally, we're going to add the 2 to both sides. You get 1 is equal to 2x. I divide by 2. So x equals 1 half. Okay, so that is the solution. All right, so now we got to check. Okay, we got to make sure that we really check this this um, this problem because if it's not true then we may uh, there might be no solution to this okay so um, I'm just making sure that I got it right okay the negative 1 and then 2x minus 2 plus 2 1 okay good all right so now if I plug in the 1 half here uh, what you're gonna get is a 1 1 plus 2 gives me 2 that's good plug in the 1 half here you're going to get 2 2 minus 2 gives me 0 this cannot be 0 either because if you plug in ln of 0 you're going to get something undefined okay so this guy is not a solution so basically there is no solution for this problem okay and check it out go ahead and put ln of 0 and see what you get okay that's where the asymptote is at all right so now let's go ahead and do one last problem So let's say we had log base 3 of 4x plus 1 plus um, log base 3 of 2 is equal to log base 3 of 4. Okay, so you have a lot of logs. So let's uh, start off by putting one log together. So let's put these two logs together. Since this is multiplication, uh, since this is addition, this is going to change to multiplication. So this is going to be 4x plus 1 times 2 equals log base 3 of 4. Notice here that the log bases are the same. So now what we can do is we can exponentiate both sides. So we can take this to the power of 3. So then the logs go away and I'm left with this 4x plus 1 times 2 is equal to 4. And now all we can do is we can distribute this guy out. So this will be 8x plus 2 equals 4. Then I'm just going to subtract the 2 over. 8x is equal to 2. So x is going to be equal to 1 fourth. Okay, let's plug it in. This one's good. It's going to be positive. This is good. Let's just check that one. 4 times 1 fourth plus 1. That gives me 1 plus 1 gives me 2. So that checks out. So this is a solution. Okay. So um, some of the problems, even when you have logs on both sides, you can still exponentiate them and get rid of them. Uh, for this class, you won't have a log different basis. Uh, like if this was a 2, this is a 3, and this is a 3, you won't have different bases like that. Okay. Um, but this is basically how you would do these problems. So they're not too bad. Uh, just make sure that you exponentiate them and be careful when you check when you're checking them.